ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله ارسله الله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا وداعيا الى الله باذنه وسراجا منيرا اما بعد فان خير الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه واله وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار عباد الله اوصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله عز وجل فاتقوا الله سبحانه وتعالى في سركم وعلانيتكم في دينكم ودنياكم واعلموا انه من يتق الله يجعل له مخرجا ويرزقه من حيث لا يحتسب واتقوا الله لعلكم تفلحون ثم بعد هذه الوصيه dear brothers and sisters in today's khutba i would like to highlight briefly top 5 reasons that we need to spend generously for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala number 1 There are several ayat in Quran and number of ahadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam status that spending for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will generate more funds will bring more is and will create more wealth in dunya and a person become better in spending and with spending other than not spending allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mention in quran that whatever you spend for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it will come back to you wa ma anfaqtum min shay'in fa huwa yukhlifu whatever you spend for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it will come back to you in dunya how much it will come back to us there is very number Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that the minimum you get the reward and you get you know return in dunya is a 10 time all the way to 700 time but the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no limit and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Quran that ومثل الذين ينفقون اموالهم في سبيل الله كمثل حبه انبتت سبع سنابل في كل سنبل 100 حبه ده ذا اكزامبل اوف اللهز ميرسي اند بليسنج اون ا بيرسون هو سبند فور هيز سيك از اف ا سيد اوف ا بيج تري ا فروت تري اند ذات سيد You know if you plant in the ground the tree will come out and has so many branches on each branches so many fruits this is example Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mention that how much he will return to you in dunya and 
when it comes to you know reasoning then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasizes in Quran that you are spending and making trading to Allah Almighty وَمَنْ أَصْدَقُ مِنَ اللَّهِ قِيلًا the one who say the truth and the one who is a powerful and he can do it Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned that whenever you spend and you do something for the sake of Allah as if you are doing trading to Allah so you buying Jannah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometime he mentioned that people like to have secure return so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَمَنْ يُقْرِضُ اللَّهَ قَرْضًا حَسَنًا فَيُضَاعِفَهُ لَهُ أَذْعَافًا كَثِيرًا that you give loan to Allah you deposit wealth to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this consider your loan and the loan with Allah is the most secure loan ever and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you return with so many multiplication so that tells us that whatever we spend you know it will come back to us in dunya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam swear by Allah and he said that ma naqasa sadaqatun ma ma naqasa malun min sadaqa that your wealth <coughs> and your mal does not decrease from charity which means that whatever you spend it will come back and even increase subhanallah the second reason Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam mentioned the generous person, the one who give for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He become close to Allah and become his friend. As-sakhiyu qareebun min Allah wa qareebun min al-nas. Wal-bakhilu ba'idun min Allah wa ba'idun min al-nas. On the other hand, the stingy one he is, you know, from distance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is on distance from Allah and the distance from people. And subhanallah, when we spend whatever amount is, when we spend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah loves us and people loves us and they make a dua. And that dua brings blessings. And when we hold on to our wealth and do not spend then we become on distance from Allah and also people also say well such and such person he is mashallah he has a business he has good wealth and Allah has blessed him so much why he is not spending so even people do not like it the angels do not like it Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said every morning two angels comes down from heaven and one of them say oh Allah Allahumma a'ati munfiqan khalafa oh Allah the one who gives and one who spend please Allah give him more in dunya and the other said oh Allah the one who hold on to it and do not spend please Allah decrease his wealth and even not decreasing wa a'ati mumsikan talafa that you take his wealth away because he is a mumsik and mumsik the one who's holding it so you see the person who spend he become more closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reason number three rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said on the day of judgment the person who spend for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have a special treatment and will have a taj or will have will, will have a taj on his head on his head and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will treat him specially because he is a generous and here is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Quran that Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu O oh, who you believe Hal adullukum ala tijaratin tunjikum min adhabin alim tu'minuna billahi wa rasoolihi wa tujahiduna fi sabilillahi bi amwalikum wa anfusikum thalikum khairun lakum in kuntum ta'lamu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that oh who you believe do you want me to tell you the most you know successful trading ever the best business ever 
which will save you from hellfire and make you success, successful in Akhira. And that is the best way to spend and you are, you know, Allah says, this is the best business ever. And Allah said, you struggle for the sake of Allah and you do something in dunya and Akhira and spend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So spending will become a shield for a person from hellfire. And that's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Ittaqu nara wa law bishikki tamra. That you save yourself, protect yourself from hellfire, even with half of the day. So the amount is not a matter. You know, if you do not have a lot to spend, spend one dollar. And it is something very amazing that I, a few days ago, I uh, saw a one person was eating food in the restaurant. So I remind the person that we, you know, um, have the contract with the neighbors and we're going to buy the land and there is certain days left. Would you please spend that person, you know, give me a one dollar. One dollar literally was eating in the restaurant. And I appreciate that person. When I was driving back, I, I make a dua for the person that, Ya Allah, give him $700 back. To me, $1 is not insult. No. Maybe the person has a literally $1. But what, what comes from the heart of the person, that's a matter. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you never know, maybe that $1 make a change for his life. So dear brothers and sisters, it is important for us to become generous donors, even one dollar or one penny. In our Sunday school, you know, mashallah, the teachers are running a program for our children. So bring a penny, you know, penny drive. So the kids, they have only 50 cents or maybe one dollar. So they are practicing to become a donor. So they bringing they are bringing penny to the masjid or to the school, giving half a dollar or maybe nickel for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is a great spending for that child because maybe the child has only that penny which he saved or she saved from, from her pocket money. So dear brothers and sisters, as I mentioned that spending, you know, it ensure Jannah and it save a person from hellfire and this is the greatest success because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the quran whoever saved from hellfire and giving you know entry to paradise that person is really successful may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put among them and number four Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, As-sadaqatu tutfi'u ghadabu rabb When we spend for the sake of Allah, it takes the anger of Allah away and make Allah happy on us. Now, we make so many mistakes and disrespect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His rule in our life. And when we spend something for the sake of Allah, it takes the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala away. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said that the word person spend for Allah's sake, Allah become happy on that person. And read in Quran, Allah said, وَيْلٌ لِكُلِّ هُمَزَةٍ لُمَزَةٍ أَلَّذِي جَمَعَ مَالًا وَعَدَّدًا يَحْسَبُ أَنَّ مَالَهُ أَخْلَدًا كَلَّا that the person woe to a person who would collect his wealth and keep and hold on to his wealth. Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned woe to a person who hold on to his wealth and do not spend. And he think that his wealth will you know, stay with him. Kalla. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put him and his wealth into hellfire. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, ma kanastum. This is what you were you know, saving the treasures in dunya. So dear brothers, it is very critical for us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quran, 
he mentioned several ayat about spending and then he said وَمَنْ يُؤْتَ الْحِكْمَةَ فَقَدْ أُوْتِيَ خَيْرًا كَثِيرًا Whoever is given hikmah, Allah has blessed him with so much bless, wisdom and khayr. And finally, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said that As-sadaqatu raddu al-bala The charity, it takes problems and the test and trials away. The charity will turn the lifestyle around. And if you have problems and sickness or something is going on in your life, that the life is miserable and full of stress, full of sickness and diseases, full of so many problems, the best way to do it is to give charity for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that sadaqah, that charity, take those problems away. As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, and the hadith Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Surah Tawbah, ayah number 77, وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ عَاهَدَ اللَّهَ لَإِنْ آتَانَا مِنْ فَضْلِهِ لَنَصْصَدَّقَنَّ وَلَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ A person sometimes make a promise to Allah that, Oh Allah, if you give me, if you make me successful, if you give me good job, if you make me successful in my business, if you increase my wealth, I will do for you this. I will do for you that. And people wish and they have something and they ask Allah to give us more. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Falamma atahum. When Allah responds their dua and their wishes. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them that job, Allah give them that wealth, and He make them successful. Falamma atahum min fadlihi bakhilu bih. And then they, they become stingy. Watawallaw. And they turn away from their promises and they forgot that there is a God who gives. The one who gives, He can take it anytime. Dear brothers and sisters, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he give us a wisdom and hikmah so we can spend more for the sake of Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our donations and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq. Aqulu qawli hada wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisa'il muslimin wa akhru da'wana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.